Hello, and welcome to the Ed Hoddle Show, presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, joined here by Stevenson football coach Ed Hoddle. Coach, last week you went to Lebanon Valley, um, kind of had some trouble in the first half, kind of, um, you know, a lot of mistakes, a lot of turnovers um, that ultimately led to a 31-24 loss. Just discuss a little bit about, you know, the game. Uh, pretty simple. You, you can't turn the ball over seven times. Um, looking at the film, it, it, it's quite remarkable that in the fourth quarter we've got an opportunity to – either tie the game or win the game on the final possession after turning the ball over six times. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, looking at the film and there's a lot of really, really positive things. And, you know, we we didn't play as bad as, as one might think. Um, but obviously, you, you can't undo turnovers. So, you know, we, and we knew going into the game that, that, that their game plan would be to, to, to take the air out of the football a little bit. You and I talked about it last week, mm -hmm. and they wanted to limit our possessions, and then we end up giving seven possessions away. Um, that's very, very tough to overcome, and I think our guys learned a valuable lesson, um, you know, as far as you know, what it takes to win and the margin for error. And we've gone back and, and looked at some, some statistics as far as turnovers and when we don't turn the ball over, how successful we can be versus w when we do when we do turn the ball over so it's been you know it's been it's been an interesting week as far as you know looking back at what we did last weekend for sure yeah I know off the top of my head I think at least the last eight or nine games where you haven't turned the ball over you've won so mm -hmm. that's you know I'm sure it's probably further back than that so usually usually I mean we know in football a lot of times whoever wins the turnover battle wins the game absolutely, absolutely. Um, you know like you said there were some positives um, you know one of the positives um Corey Petrick, he's still playing strong. You know, he had a fumble recovery for a touchdown, you know, 12 tackles. Um, let's talk about what he's meant coming back for his fifth year. Uh, you know, he's he, he's probably our best football player. You know, guy that understands schemes, guy that understands, you know, his role on Saturdays and, you know, the leadership that he brings and the maturity that he brings to that side of the ball is is, is, is really, really good from a perspective of you, you look at our defense on a whole and look at how many sophomores are running around out there. There's a lot of mm -hmm. young guys out there and, you know, his ability to lead and his ability to, you know, to be execute what we're trying to do defensively is quite remarkable. Yeah. Another thing, I know we talked a little bit about this on Saturday after the game, the fact that your guys didn't hang their heads. You know, it would have been easy 31-14 in the fourth quarter to just kind of hang your heads and, mm -hmm. you know, move on to next week. But they fought, like you said, had a chance to tie or win the game on that last possession. And, and we're moving the ball until that last interception. Um, what does it say about the character of these guys, that there's no quit? Well, that, that's just it. I mean, the, the, you know, we, when we talk all the time in college football – you can score in bunches, and we certainly have that 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 ability to do so. And um, you know, even overcoming a fourth quarter interception, you know, and still being able to um, you, you know kind of rally. And I think that that speaks to the mentality of our program and the mentality of our kids, and knowing that, that if we're focused and we're locked in, we're we're capable of doing just about anything we want. Yeah, um, shifting gears this week, it's homecoming. Uh, you're home for the first of two straight, and you're home for three of the final four games. Um, but this week you have Albright, um, a team obviously they're coming off their first loss, coming off a of bye week. Um, always, always a spirited battle when these two teams play. Yeah, it's interesting, you know, going back and looking at the history of the the, the six games that we've played with them. Um, I, I want to say five of the six have come down to the last possession of the game. Um, whether somebody needs a stop or somebody needs a score, we've, we've had an, an overtime game with them up mm -hmm. at their place in, in year number two. So, it, you know, it's always a very, very slim margin of victory for either side, and, and it's, it, it's usually a really, really good football game. Yeah, and obviously a sold-out crowd on Saturday. Um, hoping for, that they give you a lift and you know, provide us one of the best atmospheres you know in the league. Absolutely, you know, homecoming is special not only because you get to see you know all the guys come back, and not that we have a ton of right. a ton of alums at this point, but we're getting there. And, and to see those guys and where they are in their careers and the successes that they're having off the field is is really special. Um, obviously, the crowd, you know, being a sold-out crowd is is something that I, I know our guys look forward to playing in front of. And and, you know, we want them to be loud and we want them, you know, to be a factor in the game on Saturday. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks, Coach. Uh, best of luck on Saturday. We'll talk to you after the game. Um, you know, we hope to see everyone that has a ticket at Mustang Stadium. If you don't, you can watch online at GoMustangSports.com. For Ed Hoddle, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Ed Hoddle Show.